Raj, it's me. I found Corbin's body. They say he's been dead two, three days. He had a mosquito bite on him. And he's been to Malaysia, Raj. Get a hazmat team out here and seal this place up right away. And it's the plague. I'm sure of it. It's not airborne. I need you to get on the phone with the mayor's office as soon as possible and get this place quarantined. We have no idea the size of this epidemic. Washington. Hours ago, we learned of a deadly virus that threatens the lives of the citizens of Spokane. We regrettably call into action a state of emergency and declare a quarantine be enforced across the city. Everyone, please, there is no need to panic. We brought in the military to help with the situation, and I promise you, we are doing everything we can. I, I know your concerns, but there is an immediate health risk spreading as we speak. You are being advised to stay indoors. I'll now give you over to Major Stein to answer questions. Major Stein. Before I address some of your questions, I'll give you a general idea of what I do know. Get off on the wrong foot. You're trespassing. Ah, she's not gonna give me an inch. Look, I'm not really great with reporters. Uh, just give me a chance. I'm really not a bad guy. No, I'm sure. Seriously. God, what do you want? Uh, a couple of quick answers. Do you know what uh, caused the epidemic? Do you have a cure? There are plenty of PR people out front. Man, I'm not looking for spin. I need the facts. The facts? Yeah, like Professor Corbin bring back more than just his luggage from Malaysia. Are you following me? There's more going on here than you know, Dr. Martin. Hey, Dr. Uh, Martin. Yeah. Dr. Patel's waiting for you in the ward. The patients are not responding to the antibiotics. None of them. No. We don't know the extent or scope of this outbreak. We uh, have top medical so John, here. Taylor's here. Cozy up with the military, holding hands with the mayor. 
to solve this problem. And uh, unfortunately, we just don't have that much information we can give you. So I'm going to field questions. Please respect the fact that I may not be able to give you much information. They've all been given a full course of antibiotics. No response, huh? No. Who we have here? This is Maria Habentes. Hi, Maria. Oh. Maria, do you have any kids? How many? Four boys. Oh, my. You don't mess around, do you? What are their names? One. Mm -hmm. Pablo. Mm -hmm. Jose. And Fred. Fred? After Fred is there. Oh. My husband and I love all his movies. Oh, he's so graceful. Wow. You certainly have dancer's legs. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get a nurse to come in here with a little TV. Let you watch a little swing time, cheer you up, okay? A little secret. She was submitted two days ago. She's progressing way too fast. The cases in Malaysia weren't nearly this aggressive. Doesn't make any sense. Well, we had at least four or five days. Antibiotic cocktails should at least be buying us some time. But not one patient has responded. <sighs> Who's this? This is Tom. Hi there, Tom. Hello. Are you hanging in there? Besides the food and the whole plague thing, yeah, I'm doing just fine. Oh, and the whole creature of the night thing's kind of cool. Oh, yeah? It's not helping much with the ladies, though. No, huh? What happened to the funny suits? Oh, well, it is not an airborne virus. It can be spread only through touch. I had this started with Professor Corbin. Uh-huh. Guess that was one deadly handshake. Hey, that nurse Emily's quite something, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I think she's pretty great. Well, you gotta clear this thing up for me, Doc. Because there's no way she's going out with me looking like this. You keep those spirits up. I'll we'll have some of whatever we're giving him. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Uh, I'll catch up here. Okay. Anna, hi. I uh, wanted to let you know that we got in touch with your folks. But it's a good news, bad news kind of a thing. Well, give me the bad news. The quarantine took effect before they could get into the city, so they've been turned away. But the good thing about that is you don't have to worry about them getting sick. <laughs> 